This is the new Horus Hover 2.0 2000BT laser range finding unit. This upgraded laser rangefinder gives more power to the hover ballistic solving system, allowing the user to range at greater distances than before. Features include a new bright LED display with five levels of intensity, powerful ranging that reads easily at 2,000 yards and beyond. It's Bluetooth enabled to link with the Horus weather meter and ballistic app, eyepiece that features an adjustable diopter. While the Hover 2.0 2000BT can be used as a standalone product, it is best utilized with the entire Hover system, which includes the laser rangefinder, weather meter, ballistic app, and the Hover 5 to 20 by 50 millimeter rifle optic with the Trimmer 3 reticle. When the system is utilized together, it will give you accurate ballistic solutions. And now, we'll show you a quick example of how it works. Okay, we're here with Rebecca, and Rebecca is a new shooter, and we're going to put her through the process of using the hover system. Um, she's had a few sessions to get used to the rifle and understand how the actual reticle works, but beyond that, again, she's a new shooter, although she does have some really good skills uh, on the trigger. We're going to use the whole hover system. We're using the laser rangefinder, the app, and the weather meter, and this data has not been trued. So what we have gotten from the chronograph is what we've put in, and we're going to shoot from there. Caliber we're shooting is a 6.5 Creedmoor, nothing special. We're using factory Hornady uh, 140 grain ELDM ammunition, so it's stuff that you can get right off the shelf. We're going to go through the process of uh, sitting around with the hover system. And right here on the screen, you're just going to see, initially you need to set your rifle profile up and make sure that the data in there is all correct. Uh, we're not going to go through that. Uh, there are uh, videos that do describe how to go through that process. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the ballistic calculator. From here, we're going to range a target, get atmospherics, and then actually send the round. So you see here where it says target, we're going to select to add a target, and we'll call it a silhouette on the ridge, and we'll save that. Once we have the laser rangefinder on, it wants to connect to that. So we'll select the laser rangefinder, and this has that new bright LED display. So once I'm on target, I'm going to capture. 764 auto populates and we'll save that. Once we've acquired a shooting range, we're then going to get our atmospherics through the weather meter. Now our wind's coming from this direction, so I'm going to turn the weather meter into the wind and then I'm going to get a capture through the app. So going here, we're going to add and then we're going to hit capture. It's going to find the weather meter unit. We're getting some good wind. I want to try to get that, hit capture, then we'll save that data and we're all set to shoot. Okay, Rebecca, we're going to shoot that silhouette out on the far ridge. We've got a 5.2 elevation and a 0.3 right hold. Let's just use the reticle. Spotter is up. Shoot her up. All right, send it when ready. Let's go straight hold. Wind's dying off. Oops, picking up. Hold on. Straight up hold. Send it when ready. Impact. Okay, so we've got... A perfect elevation, uh, actually perfect windage. I'm watching the wind, it died down a little bit. That was a straight hold, 5.2 elevation only using the trimmer 3 reticle. Let's go ahead and send another. Impact, nice work. So there you have it, two shots, two impacts using the reticle only with the Horus hover system.